the early 2000s coddled the TV landscape to eventually be able to support teen dramas like crazy until we got to where we are now, forced to digest a market oversaturated by teen dramas. But in today's video, we are not going to be condemning that fact. No, we are going to be celebrating it. Whew. Who knew being a criminal mastermind would be this easy? Wait. We will be counting down the 10 best teen drama shows from the past 23 years. And if you were or are a teenager, this is not going to be a video you will want to miss. Coming in at number 10 on today's list is Smallville. Smallville was a show that centered around the Man of Steel himself, Superman, and various other members of the yet-to-be-formed Justice League. What made this show great was the fact that it found a way to highlight the difficulties of growing up different, something that Kal-El knows all too well, you know, being an alien and all. The show had its fair share of laughs and its fair share of bingeable storylines, but something that made people tune in was that it was the first of its kind. Sure, we have the CW-verse now, but this was the first teenager show that had well-known superheroes as the main characters. If there is anything that can add even more tension and nuance to a high school show, it's adding in superpowers. And for that reason, Smallville earns its place at number 10 in today's list. In ninth place on today's list, we have All American. For those of you who haven't tuned into this show yet, All American revolves around a football player who is recruited from a school in the southern U.S. to a school in Beverly Hills. He's pulling up on his right hamstring after every play. Asher wants a pick on him. Jordan Wells right. He can bring it in for the win. You think you can take him? I know I can. Of course, this makes for a show where the main character has to adjust to his new surroundings while doing something he already knows and loves, which makes for a pretty decent plot. But what is really nice about this teen drama is that there is no insanity. There is no serial killers or supernatural events. It's just real teenage athletes with real teenage problems. While that might make it sound slightly boring and unoriginal, it is nice to have a grounded series once again. But honestly, this show does not steer away from being unoriginal. It is a combination of Friday Night Lights and The O.C., but in a pretty good way, to be honest. If you are looking for a new teen drama, this could be the show for you, and that is why it lands itself here at number 9 on our list. At number 8 today is On My Block. On My Block is a supposed comedy that brings a lot of grief and heartache to the table each and every episode. It differentiates itself tremendously by having a charming ensemble that leaves you wanting more every time the show ends. The talent shoved into his cast is tremendous and really makes you feel as though this is a real group of friends. Hey, I'm like a Tootsie Pop. You gotta keep looking to get to the surprise. <sighs> Is that my dress? No. Maybe, yeah. That's it. Everybody get in here! Yeah, everybody get in here! Monte's pissed! Ruby! Ruby! Jamal! Jamal! In an inner city high school, and not just a Netflix show. If you haven't watched this show yet, I would recommend you get on it, but make sure you have some tissues ready to go. In seventh place today is Skins. Skins was a gritty, messy, emotional, and relatable all at the same time. This show did not stray away from sensitive and scary topics like eating disorders, drug abuse, overdoses, dying young, etc. This show did a great job of showing the real-life difficulties faced by modern high school students without sugarcoating anything. Skins has a great cast that thrives as a unit and really makes this one of the best teen dramas of the past 20 years. In sixth place on our list is Euphoria. Zendaya is a revelation in this show, and that may be part of the reason why this show is such a phenomenon. This show is very heavy and is the most recent modern answer to students going through high school. Zendaya's character is a recovering drug addict that falls in love with her transgender classmate, something that no other show has ever done before. If you want a modern teen drama that exemplifies what high school can be like for those who struggle to find themselves or an identity in society, this is the show for you. I mean, this show swept the nation when it first came out, and it continues to do so with every episode. Euphoria is still on, and since we have yet to see the series finale, we could not put it any higher than this spot, but if we redo this list in 10 years or so, 
This could be the number one pick, I swear. In fifth place today is Elite. Elite is a show that has some pretty insane events, like murders, and I mean constant murders. And for some reason, teens are in charge of solving these murders because uh, of course they are. But yet, the show finds a way to be grounded yet shocking, all the while being pretty relatable to audiences. It shows the struggle between rich kids and underprivileged kids as they both struggle to grow up in the same school. It's very interesting and certainly worth the watch. Number 4 on our list today is Glee. Glee was an iconic show when it was on and still continues to be. Tons of talent went through this show and it was a unique take on high school life. With some amazing renditions of popular songs and some relatable situations, this show was a fun yet somewhat real representation of high school living. Sure, this show had some truly terrible storylines, but they almost belonged in the show due to the fact that the idea itself was sort of terrible, and yet it sparked a cultural wave that has yet to crash. Taking the bronze medal on our list today is Gossip Girl. XOXO, third place on our list. Gossip Girl took the world by storm when it was on TV, taking the mean and vindictive life of high school and turning it up to 1,000. The identity of Gossip Girl was a question that everyone wanted an answer to for the entirety of the show, which is what kept fans hooked, along with the amazing cast and classic high school issues. You knew this show had to make the list because how could it not, right? In second place on our list taking the silver medal is the OC. The OC made an entire generation want to be an indie rock band, and if that is an influence, then I'm not sure what is. This show was universally adored when it was on and added a new rock and roll identity to teenagers growing up in the early 2000s. This was yet another no-brainer for today's list. But number one is pretty obvious if you ask me. Taking the gold medal home today is Veronica Mars. You knew this show had to make the list thanks to its terrific writing, its strong mystery plot, and its fantastic cast. Kirsten Bell, Amanda Seyfried, and of course, the greatest teen romance possibly of all time. This show had people hung on every word for the entirety of its original run, so much so that the show received a reboot from Hulu. It may not have been the longest running show on the list, but is easily the best. If there was any show that was going to beat the OC, it had to be Veronica Mars. That's all we have for you guys today on the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Let us know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. We hope you enjoyed today's content. We will see you all in the next video.